I'm smooth yet sinister Coming through to diminish ya And this here's the finisher <laughs> Check it out uh. What's going on guys? Tree coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web and today for you guys, um, we're going to be talking about some of the new things that's going on in the world of Brave Frontier. So um, we're going to start out by first of all shouting out my buddy Sam Greenpup. Big shout out to him. This is basically the website that he's running that talks all about Brave Frontier guys. And this website is also going to be the source of my information at the moment here. So um, let's go ahead and get into some talk. First of all, you see the huge picture here in the middle. Well, what's new about this guys is we has we have a new burst frog that instead of only leveling your BB for one level, it is actually capable of leveling it for multiple levels. How many yet we don't quite know, but uh, it's able to do that, which is super duper excellent. Um, those things are going to be more rare than burst frogs, regular burst frogs for sure. And then if you look up above, we have the uh, the super imps they're calling them. So these imps, um, they do all four stats, guys. This imp is able to increase the attack, defense, recovery, and HP of whatever unit you fuse it into. So excellent stuff there. And then getting into some seven-star talk here. Um, as you can see here, um, how the how the seven star is going to work. Um, let's talk about their new ultimate brave burst, guys. So this is a notch up from super brave burst. So first, as you can see here in this illustration, you have what's called the overdrive bar. And once that bar is filled, what you do here is, you know how usually you swipe up to do your BB, you swipe to the right to do SBB, you swipe down to guard. Well, with the new seven stars, once that overdrive bar fills, you swipe to the left and you activate overdrive mode. And then once you do that, you swipe up and then you are able to unleash the ultimate brave burst guys which only seven star units are going to have and uh it's, it's pretty epic stuff guys these seven star units are going to just be so op compared to what we have now so um, be on the lookout for that really good stuff um here is a quick illustration of six star seria so um she's looking pretty cool it's going to be a nice unit we're going to be able to enjoy in global soon and then for our seven stars these are the new totems guys i think they call them machina totems because as you see they kind of look a little robotic but uh, these are the units you are going to need in order to level up or to evolve your units the starter units from six star up to seven star so um we got new totems and uh there's actually another evolution material um, we're going to be talking about here a little later so moving on down this is just some artwork um, here is what uh, seven star Selena, Atro, Ease, the Lord Magris, Lance, and then over here is Vargas. So uh, here's Vargas. This is what their seven star artwork looks like. Um, pretty nice looking stuff here, guys. So excellent stuff. Looks like Japan is going to be getting those seven stars tomorrow. Now let's go over here and let's uh, go to the unit guide here really quick. And the unit guide is going to give us just a little bit more information about what's going on here with these units. So, let's go ahead and go to the correct page so we can find our uh, seven stars here. Get that junk up out the way. Here we go. So, here they are, guys. Here are the new seven star units. So, I'm just going to take a quick look at their stats. Um, they're all looking pretty epic, but this is pretty much all the information we know about them right now. Um, they're pretty much newly released, guys. So the seven stars have a cost of 38. They can go up to a max level of 120, which is excellent stuff. Um, all their leader skills are relatively the same, except um, the element being the only difference. So Vargas, he gives 100% attack and 30% HP to fire unit. Atro does that for light units, Ease does that for thunder units, so on and so forth. So the leader skills are similar, just different elements. Um, BB, all are AOE fire, um, a more powerful AOE fire. And then the ultimate BB guys, or the UBB, which is, I'm sure will be the new terminology here, is uh, kind of unknown at the moment. As, as we just said, these units are fairly new guys. So uh, 
we still got some research and some digging to do. But if you look here at the evolution material, I'm going to zoom in here. If you look here at the evolution materials, right here, you can see you got the new totem, the new Machina totem, they call it. Then you have the Miracle Totem, a Fire Totem, a Fire Idol. You still need idols to evolve these things. And then you have this little sphere looking thing here, guys. That, don't quite know what that is just at this point in time. But um, it's yet another new and necessary material in order to evolve the six stars up to seven stars. Now, this is their stats. Um, they basically took the lower stats and weighed them just like they always do with every other unit. So they put a little weight to them. Um, as you know, Anima gets the increase in HP, decrease in recovery, so on and so forth. So this is what their stats are basically going to look like, give or take a little bit. Um, and then you can also imp these guys up really high, guys. You can imp them really nice. So um, excellent stuff there. They're really looking really good, guys. Can't wait to see these uh, UBBs. So let's just go down the line here real quick. Um, Selena, seven star here. Oh, I forgot to show you a close-up of the unit art. Right, that's what I want to do. Let's go back here to Vargas real quick. And then this will be a little bit better view of the unit art. So good looking stuff there, guys. Excellent looking stuff. Now let's move on down to Selena. Take a quick look at her unit art. Real look, just nice looking, man. They really put some effort into these new units. So um, here is our statistics for Selena. So uh, same stuff, just different element. Um, they they imp a little bit differently. The stats are a little bit different, but all in all, guys, these new seven star starters are really going to be powerful units. So uh, just make sure that when they release, um, be sure to get them, guys. Definitely be sure to get your hands on them. Um, unfortunately, in Global Brave Frontier, at this moment, I don't think there's no other way you can get these starters other than to do honor summons. Um, I don't think they're going to change that even with the release of the seven stars. I really hope they don't don't anyway, but uh, Make sure you have at least one of each of these units guys Because they're going to become massively more powerful here once these are released in global brain frontier So just giving you guys a quick run through show you the unit art here Atro is a guy in global version by the way. I don't know if there's any difference in Japanese But um, in global version Atro is a male guys people seem to get that confused often But Atro is a male so Atro has really balanced stats. That's what I like about him um, As you can see the attack defense and recovery on the lower type are exactly the same wonderful 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 stuff right there And then last but not least you know the Lord Magris himself looking more sinister than ever. Uh, coming through to diminish you. <laughs> looking so ill, boy. I can't wait to get my hands on this one, boy. Most important run. Look at that. Anima type almost 8,000 HP, guys. And that's before any spheres, any leader skills, before anything. He is just knocking at the door of 8,000 HP. So this guy's going to be the man. Just straight up and down. And then just to give you guys a quick look, these are the new totems. So uh, there's a fire one there. And then uh, we'll just run through them real quick. They all pretty much look the same, so I'm not going to show you uh, each of them. Just show you the fire one to see what they pretty much look like up close. And then uh, I'm going to show you the one that really matters after that. Right here, baby, the dark one. So, uh,. Good stuff there. So it's going to be a, a new evolution material. I'm sure you're going to have to battle for them just like every other totem. And I'm sure they're going to be tougher than Miracle Totems too. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that battle, guys. Don't think just because you got an all six star crew, you're about to just walk up in there and do work. I'm pretty sure they're going to make them pretty difficult to defeat. So uh, just to show you what the new Burst Frog looks like, big boy right there the big boy but he's able to increase them the uh, BB level by a good amount and then we got the wonder imp increase all four of your stats with just the fusion of that one 
So I'm pretty sure they're going to make those things really uh, rare to come across. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to kind of bring to you what's new and what's going on in the world of Brave Frontier uh, beyond global version. Just to show you a few things that we're going to be looking forward to. Um, once again, big shout out to my boy Sam Green Puck and his website for being the source of this information. And uh, be on the lookout soon, guys. I'll be sure to try to get some more of this uh, new information to you. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And remember that in the upper right, you can subscribe. And in the lower right, you can watch the previous video. And if you wish to join the Facebook group, link is in the description. Later, guys.